Today, I'll show you how to look up values from different uh, spreadsheets within your workbook. So in my example over here, I have a summary sheet, which is looking up values within all of these workbooks as well. So these are the workbooks that have employee names and their sales transactions every day. So for example, for Aiden, he has his separate spreadsheet. And within that spreadsheet, you can see um, on 6 May, for example, he made $200 worth of sales and he made three transactions. And similarly, you can see all that data for different employees. And as you can see, I have a couple employees, about 10 or 12 employees. And the summary sheet is actually pulling in the total revenue of these employees, the running total, as well as the total number of transactions. So as an example, going back to Aiden, this 28,000 is essentially the sum of all of these sales. Um, to this date, and this 281 is the sum of all of the transactions to this date as well. So now I'll show you the formula we can use to achieve this. Um, but before that, if we go into any random spreadsheet, you can see the sales uh, figures. The dollar amounts are in column B, and the number of transactions are in column C. So we're going to be actually referring to these columns as we work. And as you can see, I have pulled the names of all of my employees. These are simply the names of the spreadsheets and I've pulled them and I actually have a video on how to extract the names of your spreadsheets into a list as well. So in this video, I won't go into too much detail on how to do that. But now that we know that the sales dollar amounts are in column B and the number of transactions are in column C, let's go ahead and let's use our, our uh, formula. So we want to sum all of the all of the revenues right so equals to sum uh, open bracket in direct because we're going to be referring to another spreadsheet and the spreadsheet that we're going to refer to is this one right the name of the spreadsheet is right over here and we're going to follow that with an and ampersand and after that in double quotes we'll add an exclamation mark and after that we'll follow it with another and function ampersand and in double quotes, we're just going to write down B colon B because we're going to refer to column B. And then after that, I will close both brackets and press enter. And I can just go ahead and drag this down as well to calculate the remaining spreadsheets as well. And once I've done that, I want to do the same thing for the number of transactions. So I can just drag this this way here and we need to make some changes. So we're again going to be referring to, to this cell over here. And this time we want to calculate column C because column C is the number of transactions. We'll press enter. And then we want to remove the dollar format because this is not a dollar format. And we can just drag that down as well. And then for the average revenue per, per transaction, it's simply just going to be this over this. And we can see $100 average per transaction. And there we go. So we use the indirect function, um, which is going to be inside the sum function. And that way we can refer to the other spreadsheets using the double quotes. Make sure you're using double quotes for the exclamation mark and for the sum range as well. And then you can achieve this as well. I hope you found this helpful and thank you so much for watching.